Code-ready containers let you run OpenShift on your laptop. To install code-ready containers, go to cloud.trilad.com, select Cluster Manager, click Create Cluster, select OpenShift Container Platform, and find Run on your laptop. From there, you are able to download the installer for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, and a pull secret that you can use to install code-ready containers. Let's get started with the Linux installer. So I'm going to click copy link address and I'm going to paste it in my terminal. While this downloads, let's take a look at some of the install instructions. On cloudatrata.com, click on get started. Let's take a look at the Getting Started Guide. We start with minimum requirements. Since this is running on your machine, you need to have at least 16 gigabytes of memory on your system with nine gigabytes free, uh, sufficient storage, and four vCPUs. For Microsoft Windows, you can use Windows 10. For Mac OS, 10, 12, or newer, and for Linux, it will work on CentOS 7, CentOS 8, and the last two Fedora releases. It can also work on Ubuntu, but you might need some, uh, some manual workarounds. Keep in mind that you need to install a couple of things before um, you have a working environment for Codera containers. So on Fedora, for example, you need to ensure Network Manager uh, is installed. The install installations are fairly straightforward. You run CRC setup to create a new release and then CRC start to start. Let's check back on our download. Now the Colorway containers has been downloaded, let's unpack it. As you can see, we have a XC extension, so we're going to use the J flag. We're going to switch into the directory and we're going to run CRC. The binary works, so we're going to run setup. Let's install Corelli containers. Setup is complete, we can now run CRC start. We're prompted for the image pull secret. Going back to cloud.rahat.com, we're going to copy the pull secret and we're going to paste it in our setup. Wait for the installation to finish. As the installer continues, you'll see that it creates a QCAL image for libvirt or kvm. It's creating the VM. The VM is running. It's checking the cluster. It's configuring the cluster. It's adding the user's pull secret. You can see OpenShift cluster is starting. Our cluster is now started and we can type CRC console to access it. We're prompted because of a self-signed certificate. Once we accept it, we have access to the console. We're going to log in. Let's obtain the credentials necessary to log into OpenShift. We can do so with CRC console dash dash credentials. You can log in as a regular user or you can ro log in as kubeadmin. Let's first test
the setup completion. Let's take a look now at the web interface. Console, OpenShift console, app CRC testing dashboard. As we can see, we're in the administrator view, but we can also switch to a developer view. We are now logged in as kubeadmin. We can log out and log in as developer as well. 